Today I have with me my Watt, which I actually haven't thrown yet, so we're gonna see how this guy flies today. I've got a glitch here so we can compare it. I think they should be pretty comparable. I hear a lot of people go that, oh, the Watt is just a, a real glitch. Well, we'll put that to the test, see how they fly. I've also got with me a Proxy, and then I've got an Atom as well. Uh, both of these in the Electron Soft plastic. Hoping to be pretty straight with this one, maybe getting a little bit of right turn, this guy holding dead straight. We're gonna compare them against each other today, see how they fly, and hopefully see which one of these is gonna be making my bag, if any. I know the glitch is staying in the bag. Well, I don't know, maybe the Watt will push it out. I have no idea. I don't know about you guys, but it has been freezing for the last two months. I've been inside, and if you watch one of my last videos, I said don't play in the cold, it ain't worth it. Take my own advice. Starting off on hold one, 230 something feet. Tail right, left, I have no idea if this is gonna turn. I've actually never thrown this before, so we'll see how it goes. But it is just blowing. Try the glitch. I don't know how I just got through all of that, but we count those. Oh my God. I so hope the camera just caught that. That was insane. Oh. All right, Adam next. Proxy had some flip up and a little turn to it, even with the tailwind. Adam, another dead straight guy. So I come out to make a comparison video and of course it's like the windiest day we've had in months. That's the nicest two I've had on this hole in a while though. We'll take that. Proxy takes the box with that guy. We got about 360 feet. Yeah, like on a rope, 320, 330. We'll go ahead and throw the Atom next. I think it's gonna be pretty similar. Right about 350 there. Got a little nose up on that one. It's gonna fail. Yeah, only about 300, a little shorter. Dead straight, but the nose up. Can't really compare when your nose up. Glitch, final shot. Same idea, dead straight, right up to C1, perfect. The glitch and the atom here, both in C1. We're gonna take the atom though. It's just got a little bit better line up with the wind. Let's see if we can't cash this home. There we go. Easy deuce. Starting off 2-2? Two, two? I mean, yeah, okay, I took four drives, but like, come on, man. With the Adam getting us the bird there, it's got the box here. We're skipping around a little bit. This is actually hole 11 at Spring Valley. I just want to showcase some good putter shots. We're gonna be a little choosy. Huge right-left wind. Super heavy wind. Everything is flying across, so we're just gonna drive it straight up. I got so scared of everything and threw it in the ground. What? What? Yeah, so in that right left, we got zero flip out of it. Honestly, I like that though. I'm not mad about that. If it had flipped in this wind, I probably would have been upset with that disc. See the little turn? Very different between the glitch and the watt, but we'll throw the proxy, see how that goes in comparison. Huh, <laughs> in? Oh. One of these times, man, I'm gonna get this one. I feel like putting from the proxy, even though the watt was definitely closest. Let's get the glitch right here. And proxy actually probably has the worst look. But, you know what, the Adam's been feeling good. We're gonna hit it again. Hole 12, one of the ones I love about this is there's two low lines that are pretty obvious. Skipper up the right, straight shot down the left. But I take neither of those. This middle tree, I go directly over the top of it, hit the trees up above it, fall down onto the basket. Glitch is gonna go first, because I want to. Well, that was not the height I needed. What? See, I usually throw a spin here, because it gets that little flip on that angle. That thing was finishing way left. The Adam, I almost feel like I gotta put a little angle on it. So we're gonna get it flat to Annie. Yeah, right next to the basket, there we go. Proxy should flip a little for us. We might do a similar line though to the Adam.
Oh, not quite the turn I was expecting. But we're still putting. Well, the watt and the glitch both ended up short hitting that tree early, but the proxy and then the atom right here, uh, proxy was like 20 feet left, and then atom was that tap in. We got a strong left right coming on this hole, a little bit guarded with trees, and a lot of it's kind of tail. That's way too far. Drop yesterday, it's over the basket, and it's 90 long. It's coasting right. Faded out at the end. Also just way long. Try to take a lot off of that one. So just getting over to the right side. That glitch and proxy are flying more similar to each other than the watt and glitch. The watt's actually a little bit straighter, a little bit more stable. Yo, I hate this camera angle because it means I'm running all the way back up there. But this is what happens when you throw long like that. Got full on throws back up at the basket here. Just a little shorty, like 175 with water directly behind it. And we're throwing into a stiff headwind coming off of that, coming off of that water. So we're going to go watt first. Well, a hyzer flip, gentle, gentle. Flipped right up, carrying dead straight. It's going to be a C1 putt. Oh, it's just going right, that wind. That one should be right up there in C1. This putt feels so long. With this wind coming off. But at the same time, it's still just a 12 footer followed by a 10 footer that I did not make. Still here with the big left, right. We're gonna go with the watt again first. 250 feet in the middle of that island. No height though. Dang, that was a good line. We're gonna do it again just with height. Just on the back side of the green there. All right, next up, we're gonna go glitch real high. Oh, the wind just said no. Might have just scooted back in on the back side there. Well, we've got the proxy and the atom both sitting pretty much on top of each other. Oh, actually, from OB. Another easy bird. That Adam is quickly becoming one of my favorite discs. This is gonna make the bag. This might even end up being my putter. This is fantastic. So we're looking at only like 270 feet right past that second tree there. We're gonna go for the big hyzer line out and around. That's just so straight. Never faded for a second. The wind just won't let it come back. We're gonna put the watt on a lot of hyzer. It's trying, look, it's, it's on angle. It just can't get left. Maybe a little at the end, but that wind's holding it. We're gonna go proxy a lot of hyzer. That did it. Oh. Put it up higher so it doesn't happen again. Right at the basket. That Adam, man, I love this disc. I've got it in its cosmic neutron too, and that thing is a stable boy. So if I can have this guy flying straight for me, a little gentle fade, neutron flying on the overstable side of it for me, and then maybe a proxy turning, I might have just gotten a new putter lineup. Hit that putt, get us another two. <laughs> that one's lifting. The first one dropped like crazy. That one completely lifted the whole time. Also lifting. The wind had to have changed. And just dropped. Oh, there's actually no putt here. There we go. With this much headwind, I know I'm gonna have to give it a full rip to get it there, because they're just gonna be blowing straight back at me, especially the lightweight glitch. So we're gonna go first with it, see if we can even get it there. And it's like 90 short. I also didn't put it in the air, or I think it would have got there. What?
Whew, we're right there. Come on. Well, I can't get it over there in the wind. Everything else came up short. We got the watt right here. The headwind's just so stiff. Either way, the disc golf fly a little bit similar. Glitch definitely the most flippy, then the proxy probably, then the watt, then the atom. All similar straight flyers, kind of however you like your release angle, you can pick one of these guys and end up with something you like. Oh, that's been our putting showcase. I don't know if you guys like the watt, the glitch, the atom, the proxy, what your favorite throwing putter would be. But from MVP, this is a straight up fire lineup. Add the envy in there for a little more stability. They know what they're doing over there. Comment, subscribe, your favorite throwing putters. Do you like MVP, other brands? What do you guys throw? Thanks for watching. Bye.